What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a really quick look at the new colors for the Apple Watch Sport, which were just announced today. So as you know, the Apple Watch Sport launched with silver and space gray, but we now get gold and rose gold, and all at the same price at $349 or $399, depending on which size you want. Apple also announced some new sport band colors, and they do come on some of these. So for example, the 38 millimeter rose gold comes with the lavender sport band, 42 millimeter comes with the stone sport band, and if you're looking at the gold, the 38 millimeter comes with the antique white sport band, and the 42 millimeter comes with the midnight blue sport band. Apple has also expanded the sport band collection to a whole variety of colors, so there's a lot to pick from now if you want to buy them separately. Now, in terms of the unboxing experience, once again, the Apple Watch Sport comes in these long boxes. So if we lift the lid, underneath we'll find these hard plastic boxes. If we move those out of the way below that, we'll find some of the accessories. First thing we'll see here is a packet, which includes a quick start guide explaining how to set up and use the watch. We'll also find our safety and warranty guide. We also have the small slash medium band here. So if the pre-installed band is too long, you can swap it out for this smaller band. Below that, we'll find all of our standard accessories, including a wall adapter, as well as our charger. Again, this is a magnetic charger using induction. So all it does is adhere to the back of the watch to charge it wirelessly. And of course, we've seen this before. Getting back to the watch cases, first thing we need to do here is pull the tab to open up the sleeve. Then we're left with our Apple branded boxes. All we have to do is lift the lid, and inside we'll find our Apple watches in their appropriate colors. So automatically these colors make the watch look a little more premium than the bright colors of the sport we've known up to this point. So the band colors are more muted and certainly gold looks a little more premium than silver or gray. Of course, gold we're all pretty familiar with from the Apple iPad and the iPhone and it's exactly the same color. But of course, rose gold is a new color and it is coming first to the iPhone 6S as well as this watch. The rivets on the band are also color matched and we do have a piece of plastic protecting them. Now the first thing I wanna do here is power up the watches and pair them to my phone so we can start using them. So to pair your watch to the phone, all I have to do is open the Apple Watch app and you're presented with a sort of digital QR code or more sophisticated version of it on the Apple Watch screen. You use the camera to scan it and it links up automatically and you have several options to set it up. In my case, I can just transfer my existing back above my existing Apple Watch to this watch and I'm good to go. Now the design of the Apple Watch Sport hasn't changed at all, it's just a new color. So once again, in this case, I have 42 millimeter watches, so I have a 1.5 inch AMOLED display, which is covered in IonX reinforced glass, so no sapphire glass like you get with the Apple Watch. The body itself is anodized aluminum, 7000 series anodized aluminum like the new iPhone 6S. Along the back, we'll find our heart rate monitor along with all the information surrounding it. Once again, we also have our release catches for the watch band, so if you want to swap them out, it's really easy to do. Along the right side, we'll find our digital crown, which is also pressable. We'll also find our friends button, which allows us to quickly access our favorite contacts. On the left side, we'll find our waterproof speaker and microphone. Now in terms of this display, once again, it looks fantastic with really good anti-glare properties. It's curved at all edges, so it feels really nice to swipe across. Again, we have that nice AMOLED display, which I think looks really vibrant with those deep blacks that sort of blend into the bezel of the watch and disappear, so you don't really see the border of the display. The interface, again, is pretty much identical here. This does not yet have Watch OS 2 at the time of launch, so don't go to your Apple store and buy one of these expecting them to have Watch OS 2 that's coming later. Once again, we also have these floral elastomer bands, which are now available in a huge variety of colors. I really like them. You just sort of snap them into place and tuck them uh, to find the right size. So the great thing about these colors is that they closely match the Apple Watch Edition. Obviously, we have very different materials here and a very different finish, but the colors do give you a more premium look. I really like the yellow gold. I think it works for most people. And if you mix up the bands, if you choose a more premium band like a black leather band, uh, I think that actually looks really nice. Now, rose gold itself has a more coppery pink color, so it's geared toward maybe more female customers. And I think it's a much more fashionable and appealing option for female customers who may not want to spend a lot more money to get something like the stainless steel Apple Watch. 
Now, personally, I still prefer the stainless steel Apple Watch, which of course is quite a bit more expensive. It's actually twice as expensive if you get the one with the Milanese loop as I have here. And I've been wearing it every day since the Apple Watch launched, so I'm a big fan of it. I really like having quick access to my notifications right on my wrist because I receive so many of them. It's nice to quickly glance at them without having to whip out my phone all the time. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed this really quick look at the new colors. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.